Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Wolf here with getthrivecart.com. Now today I actually logged into my Teachable account and noticed there was a weird issue going on with my uh, Thrivecart to Teachable integration. So if I go into, let me pick out one of my products here. If we go into this product here, go to fulfillment, you can see my membership platform is Teachable, my Teachable site is all set up, but when it says select the Teachable course, it's blank, nothing is showing up. I can't actually select any Teachable courses. So I reached out to Dale over at Thrivecart and he gave me a quick fix to solve this issue. Apparently Teachable just recently changed their API and um, it requires a little bit of a tweak inside of your settings when you set up Teachable. So in order to fix this issue where you can't actually load in any of your Teachable courses, you're going to simply come up to settings, integrations, and then you're gonna to go to your membership platforms, and then you're gonna click on view settings where you set up your Teachable account initially. Now, if you click on edit here, you can see Right here, it shows you sort of an example of how your domain name should be set up. Ours is courses.evergreenprofits.com. And um, having it set up in this way doesn't actually work. You actually have to put HTTPS colon slash slash and then your URL. Now, Dale assured me they're actually going to change this little example here to show the HTTPS uh, in front of the URL. Right now, their example, if you do it just like the example says, your Teachable will not work. So you have to put this HTTPS here for it to be working from here on out. It was a little change in the Teachable API. And again, the little note above it is going to change here to make it more clear. But for anybody who is having this issue right now, that is your quick little workaround. So I'll go ahead and click save this Teachable school. And then when this loads, let me go back to my main page. I'll click back into this product here, fulfillment, teachable, boom. Now I have all my courses loading just like they were before. All right, so that's the quick little fix if you're running into that issue. Hopefully this was helpful for some people. I'll see you guys later.